Hello and welcome back to Revise GCSE History .uk, the number one place for your GCSE history revision and exam preparation. This video today is the first video in the topic cattle ranching and in this video we're doing today we're going to be looking at the spread of cattle ranching and what factors affected the growth and spread of cattle ranching in the 1800s. Okay, so before we start, a bit of background information, the early cattle industry. Well, cattle were first introduced to America by European invaders, and by the 1850s, southern Texas was the major centre of cattle ranching. And uh, the traditional breed of cattle was the Texas Longhorn, that's a breed of cattle, Texas Longhorn, and this breed of cattle were particularly hardy. Uh, they could withstand uh, the extreme climate uh, that would be typical of the Great Plains and uh, they were just all round very hardy cows. And in the 1850s beef became a popular food in America and cattle were driven by cowboys to markets where they were sold. And as cowboys drove their cattle, they came into conflict with the homesteaders. And we're going to be looking at this more in a later video. So, how did the cattle industry develop? What factors led to the development of the cattle industry in America? Well, firstly, beef's popularity. So, in the 1850s, beef became a popular food, and demand for it increased in the eastern state, United States of America, in eastern USA. Another factor that uh, affected the development of the cattle industry was the U.S. Civil War, and the U.S. Civil War began in 1861, and it ended in 1865. Just be aware of that for your exam, although it's not specifically in the specification. So, US Civil War, Texan cattle ranchers got back from fighting in the Civil War to find out that their herds had grown dramatically. So, uh, Texan ranchers left their herds, left their herds of cattle to go and fight in the Civil War. When they returned from the Civil War, they were extremely surprised because their herds had rapidly increased in size. They'd grown dramatically. So, they didn't have... Uh, too many cows when they went to fight and then they returned to find absolutely loads of cows whilst they were away fighting. I think this is a pretty important factor in explaining, in explaining the development of the cattle industry because it sort of supply, the supply of beef increased as it was becoming a popular food. Also new markets is another factor in explaining why the cattle industry developed. So Examples of new markets, US Army in the West, miners, railroad builders and the Indians on the reservations provided a good market for cattle. So there was more demand for beef. More demand. This beef's popularity meant there was more demand too. And the effects of the Civil War then meant there was more cattle, so there was more supply to meet the demand. So these are some factors affecting the development of the cattle industry. Although there are others, we're going to look at these other factors now. So, another factor is the railroad. Uh, the Transcontinental Railroad was built to go from eastern USA to the west, and it meant that beef could quickly get to new markets, the Transcontinental Railroad, and... Uh, New cow towns, we're going to be looking a bit more at what cow towns are in a, a later video. But new cow towns, such as the one in Abilene and Dodge City, uh, which was in Kansas, were built along the wet railway line. So, cow towns were built along railway lines. And these cow towns were places where cattle could be hoarded onto trains uh, and taken to markets. So, cow towns were built along the railway line. Another way the uh, building of the railroad helped the cattle industry developed, uh, develop is because the builders of the railroads bought beef for food. So, they uh, increased demand for beef, increased its popularity. Uh, another factor, Goodnight and Lovin'. Uh, Charles Goodnight and Oliver Lovin' were the first 
to drive cattle whoops so they were the first to drive cattle out of Texas to the north uh, to meet uh, the markets in the north so these people were the first to do that Charles Goodnight Oliver Lovin and their route that they took uh, on the cattle drive became famously known as the Goodnight Loving Trail. And the Goodnight Loving Trail is a famous cattle drive. Cattle drive uh, from Texas to the north. That's the Goodnight Loving Trail. And these were the first people to do that, hence the name The Goodnight Loving Trail. Okay, the final factor we're going to look at is Joseph McCoy. And Joseph McCoy created the cow town of Abilene in Kansas in 1861. So he created a cow town, he was the first person to create a cow town. So he bought land, uh, built stock pens, and then advertised the town as a shipping point. So that also, the building of cow towns, helps to explain why the cattle industry developed. Okay, we've covered all the knowledge we need to know for today's video. Just a few slides, factors as to why the cattle industry developed and a bit of background information about the early cattle industry. So now we've come to the end of this video. Here are four just quick questions based on the content of today's video. Pause the video here if you wish, scribble down some answers to the questions, make sure you picked up the key points. If not, carry on watching, we'll do the answers together. Alright, so the answers to the questions. Question 1. What is the name of the traditional breed of cattle that are very hardy? This breed of cattle is called the Texas Long Horn. Question 2. Who drove cattle to the markets where they were sold? Uh, these people were the cowboys. We're going to be looking at the cowboys more in a later video. Question 3. How did the US Civil War help the cattle industry to develop? Well. Uh, whilst ranchers were away fighting, uh, the size of herds grew, or uh, herds of cattle increased, so they got bigger herds while they were away fighting because of the cattle reproducing independently. Uh, question four, how did the railroads help the cattle industry to develop? I can think of a few ways, so I'll name a few. Uh, railroad builders uh, ate beef. Uh, that's sort of uh, giving a uh, demand for the beef. Another way is uh, cow towns were built along the railways. If I can just neatly squeeze that in at the bottom. There we are. Alright, so there are the answers to the four little quick questions for this video today. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, go to the website revisegcsehistory.co.uk where you can watch more revision videos very similar to this. Thanks for watching and good luck with your studies.